Shannon the Cannon Briggs versus Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Going out to Trey Titan. Let's get into it. Interesting matchup. Thank you for this request. Two hard hitting heavyweights in Deontay Wilder and Shannon Briggs. This would definitely be a wild fight. A slugfest at heavyweight. And we rarely get those anymore. And so these guys would definitely be going at it. And with their styles, their temperaments, their power, drama is guaranteed. And most of the time, drama inside of the ring is good. The referee would definitely have his hands full. And because both, both of these guys had massive egos, they really did. But let's talk about Shannon Briggs. He's been in there with most of the top guys of his era. He's been in there with the likes of Lennox Lewis, Big George Foreman, Vitaly Klitschko, and a few others. Now, unfortunately, Shannon fell short in most of his big fights, but he was always competitive he was always dangerous and he always showed up to fight. And so Shannon Briggs, like Deontay Wilder, always had a puncher's chance, he really did. He had a decent chin on him. And his conditioning, I'm not sure, but he was entertaining. He was fun to watch. Deontay Wilder gets a lot of criticism and a lot of current fighters get criticism because most of the time we don't appreciate fighters till years later. But Deontay Wilder is disliked by a lot of fans. I'm not one of them. I happen to be a fan of his. But for all the criticisms, for his so-called lack of technique, he gets the job done. Only one man is beating him at this point. And so that says a lot. And you don't get to this level without having something, without having some level of skill. And so I often disagree with most of the criticisms against Deontay Wilder. I could go on and on about that, but let's stick to this fight. Shannon Briggs versus Deontay Wilder. Who takes it? Who do you think will take it? I can't wait to read the comments. Like I said, both of these guys have the same temperament, a lot of the same attributes. They both may be equal in power. Of course, Deontay Wilder has a higher knockout ratio than Shannon Briggs. I really don't see either guy being intimidated by the other. I mean, both of these guys and they're going to be going for the knockout. And quite frankly, this, this fight is not going the distance. You will not see the 12th round in this fight. There's just too much power. And there's just too much ego. There's just too much pride. And so if I were looking for something to separate these guys, it would be consistency sometimes you can be a good fighter even a great fighter but not be consistent and that's the category that Shannon Briggs was in he always showed up to fight all of his fights were always entertaining a lot of action a lot of drama but he always fell short and like I said about Wilder only one man has beaten him and so once again, for all the criticisms against Deontay Wilder, he's been consistent. There's only two fighters, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's only two fighters that have gone the distance with Deontay Wilder. That being Tyson Fury and Bermain Stavern. And that says a lot about his power. Deontay Wilder is truly a knockout artist. Shannon Briggs that fell short a lot of the time. Deontay Wilder got the job done a lot of the times. 
So I'm predicting an entertaining fight, possibly a fight of the year type of fight. Shannon Briggs is going to be competitive. He's going to put in some good work in this fight. And so will Deontay Wilder. But I just think that this fight goes down in typical Deontay Wilder fashion with Shannon Briggs being up on the scorecards, possibly tiring out in the later rounds or even mid rounds and Deontay Wilder just catching him with something down the stretch. I see Shannon Briggs becoming overconfident, letting his guard down and then just getting caught with Deontay Wilder's signature right hand eraser. So I'm going with the bronze bomber by knockout. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. I'll catch you on the next video very soon.